Okay, real quick, in this video I'm just going to go over the fit I use for running missions. This is my solo mission fit Ishtar. It's designed only for missions, nothing else. It's not a perfect fit, and I'm not going to say it's the most efficient. I'm just going to say it works for me. Uh, okay, uh, for rig slots I use two core defense field purgers that help with shield recharge. Uh, for low slots, one damage control and four power diagnostic units. I don't like to use shield uh, power relays because they really make your cap suffer. With power diagnostics you can perma run your micro warp drive which is nice for getting distance in a mission and for running away from uh, home. <laughs> running away from people that might be trying to kill you. Sorry, I'm holding my son while I'm trying to do this video. For mid slots, uh, it's pretty basic, an invol, three shield extenders, and a uh, micro warp drive. Now, you can play with this fit however you like. Um, you can substitute the damage control for an overdrive injector too, or even better, in my opinion, is a nanofiber. That'll give you more speed and agility. <laughs> okay, for uh, drones, I like to use uh, five medium ECM uh, drones, five light ECM drones and uh, 10 Ogre 2's. Sometimes I will go 5 Ogre 2's and 5 Ogre 1's. If you're in a hostile system where you think someone might warp into your mission, it's not necessarily a bad idea to uh, put the Ogre 1's out. They'll still do decent damage if you have good drone skills. And um, they would... oh shit. <laughs> okay, well I guess this video is also going to turn into how to do the micro warp drive cloak trick. There's a lot of bad things at this gate, so I might not even get away with that, but we'll see. This is how you survive doing missions in an Ishtar. You use a micro warp drive and cloak. I'm not going to be able to explain it while I'm doing it, or I'll probably mess up, so just watch real quick. I pick my gate, I align, cloak, micro warp drive, almost immediately. I almost missed it. When the micro warp drive is 80% complete, decloak and spam warp and pray to God. Oh, I fucked up. No, I got it. Just barely. Just barely. Now, I did mess that up a little bit. The timing was off, both because I'm recording, holding my son, and my mind is just elsewhere. So, whew, how to survive solo mission running in an Ishtar. Your high slots, you need a cloak. Your mid slots, you need a micro warp drive. If you come into a gate camp like that, I'm going to show you how to do it one more time at this next gate. If you come into a gate camp like that, here is how you get away with it. I like to put my cloak in the F1 slot and my micro warp drive in the F2 slot. I don't think it really matters what slot they're in, um, but a lot of people like to cloak first and micro warp drive. It's a split second difference. Okay, there's no one in the system, so I can probably do it without freaking out. Say there's a gate camp on this side of the gate, you need to do two things find your out gate or find a celestial to warp to. If um, if there's something in the direction of your outgate that's in close proximity to you, you might want to choose a different celestial. However, outgate is usually a good one to uh, warp to. So you go ahead, click a line, you wait a split second, hit cloak and micro warp drive. You have to wait a split second. If you do it right away, you'll uh, you'll get your decloaking delay and you won't, won't work. 80% complete. You just decloak, spam warp, and uh, as soon as the micro warp drive shuts off, you'll warp almost instantaneously. It's a little bit different for each ship and each fitting because things like agility come into play. Um, also, lag has an effect on it. It doesn't always work the same in every system. You'll notice my micro warp drive started another cycle. It doesn't normally do that. That has to do with uh, a little bit of server side lag. When it doesn't start a new cycle, it uh, warps almost instantly. But you can see in that last gate camp, I was able to get away from a fairly large pie gang of um, battle cruisers and uh, support ships. Now, I have to worry about fast tackle because I'm flashy red. Uh, but most of you who are not pies won't have to worry about fast tackle. The only thing that would tackle you at a gate would be, you know, usually battle cruisers, maybe recons, maybe heavy assault ships. But. Um, small things like interceptors if you're uh, if they're not war targets and you're not flashy you won't have to worry about an interceptor pointing you so hopefully that that works out 
I will do it one more time in this next gate just to show you again how it works if you didn't get it while I'm going there. Uh, anything I missed in the fit? I don't think so. Uh, the salvagers here is offline. If I ever come across a juicy Tech 2 wreck, I online it and um, grab it. But that's just that's salvage hoarding. <laughs> I know. Um, the basic, basic fit. So yeah, what I was saying about um, sometimes carrying five Tech 1 drones and five Tech 2 drones, heavy ogres. If you're in a system doing a mission where there's a couple people or you're not sure if someone's going to come into your mission and push you away, well, you always want to leave drones behind because you don't want your ship to get caught. And if you have to leave drones behind, it's better to leave, uh, you know, cheap Tech 1. So here we got two war targets jumping into this next system, so I'll probably be able to demonstrate the micro warp drive close again. Like they're probably going to try and point me up. They might not. It was a rupture in a cargo. Okay, rupture's decloaked. He is moving, but I don't know where. Okay, he's reapproaching the gate, so they, they are going to try and tackle me. Uh, they're not going to. I select my out gate. I align. Brief second later, I cloak in my warp drive. And then 80% decloak spam warp. I think I was a little late on that one. I'll still get away. It might be 75% for my ship. I don't know. So anyways, that's how that works. Enjoy.